Here we have one gyrocopter as seen on eBay for sale. Um, there you have the rear wing. Up there is where your propeller goes. It has a little starter motor on it to start the propeller spinning, get the updraft. A couple of springs here seem to be dislodged. I think they just need to be reconnected. Here is the motor. So you've got a fuel tank sitting up there. Rotax motor. Exhaust pipe. Got a couple of holes in here. Don't know what they are. Um, all the spark plugs seem to be new. The rear propeller. All three rotors are in great condition. Down here we have the fuel tank. Which all looks good. All the hoses look okay. Uh, here we have the radiator. And you see a little bit of damage there. May need a new radiator. Uh, the rear propeller, or oh, the rear, uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> Blue light. Um, we come over to the harness, which is just an old Holden GM harness. The seat, once it's all fairly good, there is a little scratch over there. You control or Turn left, it controls up to there. Up, left, right, down, up. Throttle control, all hooked up. If that is throttle control, can't move it. Switches. This is a front brake, which goes down to a bicycle brake on the front wheel. All the control linkages are fine. To the dashboard, got vertical speed, 100 feet per minute. Temperature gauge, this temperature gauge looks broken. Something, <laughs> oops. Um, there's your hours. And it actually says so two there and all zeros if you can't see that. And the tach tachometer, Rotex up to 8000, 7000, red line and a voltmeter. And your foot pedals for the rear rudder, I think that's what it's called. All working fine. As you can see, turning with a little flap, if you can see there, that little flap's working fine. Um, all the wheels, Got the air cleaners. Full start. So it takes over. The wheel. 
Underneath here is top propellers. Brand new. Brand new. Made in Newcastle. And the cross member up the top. That's where the battery goes. The two battery terminals. You've got a couple of sirens under here, scaring things. Few wires, must be the switches. Exhaust temperature. Again, on this side, there's a hole through there. Two coils on it made by Ducati. Oil, fuel, baby bottle for overflow, I guess. Paper, something. There you go, it's a warp drive propeller. H5192. Says there. A bit of rear wheel on the back from the wheelie bar. Maybe your linkages. So I hope you like what you see and someone is going to get themselves a magnificent flying machine.